Okay, here's my first um, here's my first example, um, one that we're actually going to really work out. And notice how I've got one odd power and one even power. Okay, um, so that means you know back from your notes that I'm probably going to go with the Pythagorean identity. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna just go ahead right there. So what I'm gonna first, what I'm gonna first do, I'm just gonna write the integral again, and let's see here. I'm gonna go. Actually, you know what? We don't even need to use the Pythagorean identity. I'll tell you why. Remember how I was telling you we needed to get to that situation? We had just a lone trig function sitting out there outside. Well, I'm gonna actually use a u substitution here real quick. I could let it equal cosine x du will equal negative sine x dx. Okay, so I'm already almost there. Now note up here, um, I've got a sine x dx, but I don't have a negative sine x dx. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to divide both sides by negative 1. Okay, and that's going to give me du over negative 1 equals regular sine x dx. Okay, so I could replace that up there. All right, so I'll go back here. Let me go ahead and put in my my u for cosine, and then sine x dx. Well, that was du over negative one. Okay. I'm just going to write the negative one outside since it's a constant. All right, so there we are. And this one's uh, pretty straightforward. This is negative one, and this is u to the third over three. Um, now that's all equal to negative cosine 3x over 3. Now we also remember our original integral um, was uh, over an interval. So we're going to have to go ahead and evaluate that too. Okay, so let's go um, to negative cosine cubed of pi over 2 over 1 or over 1 third okay let's go ahead and parenthesize that minus negative cosine to the third of pi over 4 okay so we got there uh, so what's cosine of pi over 2 is just 0. Let's see, negative 1 third cosine of pi over 4. Well, that's just going to be um, square root of 2 over 2, but it's cubed up there. Oops, I'm getting sloppy, aren't I? So it's cubed. All right, so it looks like we end up with, um, let's see here, negative times a negative, that's going to be a positive, so I'm going to end up with one-third. Um, let's see, I got square root of two, square root of two, square root of two right here, so these are going to cancel out to be two, so that's going to be two times the square root of two. And on the bottom, raised to the eighth, Okay, so this is going to be two over square or two square root of two over what twenty four, which is square root of two over twelve. Okay, so we did a uh, we did a, one of those other guys right there with that one. So um, basically, um, just going through this, we um, you know we we had a, the the rule says that an odd power. Um, you know, go ahead and try the Pythagorean identity, but we already had a lone trig function sitting out there. So usually, um, that, that's a good tip off to go ahead and try U substitution first. And even, we even kind of covered that in our very first rule. Um, it just happened we had a bigger power there. So, um, if, had this not worked, uh, we probably would have tried the Pythagorean identity next. Okay. All right. Well, see you in the next video and we'll do another one. We'll do a more complicated example.